What's up guys, today I'm going to be rebuilding my factory in Astroneer. After that we're going to completely automate the factory by setting up a rail network. So skip to this timestamp if you want to go directly to that.
right, so what I think I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have this come up, and it's gonna go over this section. I'm gonna build a bridge, and then it's gonna come over this way, and it's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna build that right now. Shit. It took me a while to figure out a good system for my rails, but eventually this is what I came up with. I made a rail that goes from my Astronium mine directly to my factory. And you can see here, I got a rail station with a rail engine and one rail car. And then on top of the rail car is a large resource canister with a storage sensor set to full or empty that's connected to the rail engine. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna come to this rail station and this large resource canister is gonna be filled up from these two arms and the mine working. And then this is gonna empty out into this one. You need to actually disable the output for it to actually accept any resources. So I have this tower right here and I use one of the hooks so that when it arrives, it activates this little proximity repeater. And since it's high up, it's only gonna activate this large resource canister. So it's gonna allow it to accept resources. And then as soon as this is filled completely, It'll send a signal to the rail engine to send it back up to the surface. So let's now see what that looks like. I'm not going to fill it up all the way because that's going to take a really long time. Now as we come up to the surface, you're going to see that I bore a hole through this mountain right here. And we're going to come right in the back of the factory where it would normally store all of our astronium. So you see you got a little stockpile right here. And when it arrives, the same thing's going to happen. I got a little hook to this proximity repeater. That's going to allow it to dispense the resources. And these two auto arms are just going to unload it into these two resource canisters. And then from there, the, the auto arm is going to grab it and dish it out like in my uh, scrap factory tutorial and then it'll actually sit here until it's completely empty so you can have these two filled and then possibly have another resource canister filled so this will last you a really long time and by the time that it's empty the resource canister in the mine is going to be completely filled so it'll just automatically send this down to the mine and pick that up and bring it back up and it'll do that before these two are empty, it'll do it as soon as this one's empty, and this one's always going to be the first one to be empty, so you'll never have a gap in your production where you don't have any astronium. I've got my train station here. I don't think it really matters what you have the loading set to. I, I had a hard time making it work with these large resource canisters, because it's meant for like stuff with slots on it, right? It's not meant for these silos. So that's why I had to go through all the work of adding, you know, the storage sensor, the proximity repeater, all that. But I was eventually able to figure it out. I asked on the Discord for help and nobody was able to help me, so I had to figure it out myself. So this is probably the first design on YouTube for something like this. I have no clue what I'm going to do with all this astronium. I have like 2800 astronium here. I think I'll research it. Maybe I'll just keep filling up these silos and make like a big 
big structure, just fill it out to there with silos of them. Other than that, I completely repaired my factory here and I actually made it a little bit better. I added a countermeasure where it'll turn this section off so it'll completely stop the loading process until all of the resources from its last batch have been used up. So I got a storage sensor here set to empty or not empty. And that's just connected to the power switch. So it'll just shut this power off. And this isn't connected. So this auto arm that's gonna grab it, it's on its own grid. So even if this is shut off here, this auto arm is still on. It'll still work. And then you got the same thing before. Get the storage center set to full or empty. Connected to two auto arms. One of them is supposed to be on, but I have this section on off right now. But I can go ahead and activate all of them because I got my gas and I'm ready to start production. Since every planet has different gases available, I set up an outpost on several different planets and I'll put that on screen right now. And I just went there with a the rocket ship and a silo with 12 gas containers and I just let it run for, for a long time. And then when I was done with my factory, I just came back to it and they were completely filled and I brought them back to my factory. And I also added this little platform right here so that I can grab hydrazine whenever I need it. I'll leave the plans in the description for this. I made an image that's really helpful that'll show you sort of where to put the machines and everything like that. So you guys can check that out and that's really helpful. All right, that's pretty much it. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll make a tutorial on how to make this entire factory from start to finish. One more thing, only 0.2% of you guys are subscribed. So if you want updates on my factory in the future, then consider subscribing. It's free and you can cancel at any time.